Let's continue now with our focus on Mandela Day. And it seems there are mixed feelings uh, on this 105th anniversary of Madiba's birthday. Of course, he died in December 2013. He was aged 95. Nearly 10 years since his death, let's discuss his legacy, perhaps his changing legacy, and our feelings on this day. And I'm joined now by le leadership expert Mazwe Majole. Mazwe, thank you so much for joining us. I was mentioning this poll that was done on our morning show, um, and the question that was asked was, are you planning to do anything positive in honor of Nelson Mandela today? Only 6% of respondents said yes, they were. 70% said no, they weren't. And 24% yeah, they weren't sure, they didn't know. What do you make of that? Do you think it's our present hard times impacting our goodwill, perhaps? No, that is very disappointing. Good evening, Sally, and to the viewers. That is very disappointing um, because, really, you can see that the, the legacy of Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest leaders on earth, uh, has been eroded. Um, uh, so, I mean, if really on this day, which is a very important day, only 6% of people are saying uh, we will be doing something, it's very disappointing. But also it shows that maybe the, the Mandela, or Nelson Mandela Foundation, somehow in terms of um, uh, promoting this day, that maybe they found wanting. Uh, I know that they've been having some um, internal problems there as an organization, but also I think our government is very important that we do need government, especially the department, the relevant departments, to, to, to promote this day and to promote the legacy of Madiba. Mm. Because if now in 2023 you've got uh, that to respond, can you imagine in, 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 in 10 years to come, and then this young generation, they won't even know about this Matiba or the yeah. what, or his legacy, the good things that mm. he did. Do you think a lot of people are conflating the disappointments um, of government um, since democracy and the failures of leadership in terms of you know the corruption that we've seen, the inability to improve life uh, for people, um, the erosion of so many of our state entities. Do you think they're c conflating that with who Madiba was? Let's face it, this is a man who had a five-year term and then willingly said, I'm not in for another, uh, which is quite unusual, not hungry for power. But do you think people are conflating the failures of the government uh, with Madiba's legacy? Well, unfortunately, ANC will always be, will always be viewed as the... the, the the Nelson Mandela party, the Nelson Mandela organization, um, uh, the, 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 the party that people voted for in 1994 uh, for Madiba, you know, uh, during, those, uh, during, during that time uh, when someone went to the uh, uh, voting uh, booth would we'll, we'll want to see Madiba's uh, image, you know, because that's how the, the ANC was regarded. So now, uh, in, obviously in 29 years, uh, next year will be 30 years mm. after, after democracy. Uh, and the things that are happening uh, done by this uh, party of Madiba, so there will always be that uh, they've We've been disappointed, um, and unfortunately, they won't be divorcing a, a, a leader from the organization. In other words, Madiba from uh, from the ANC, because it's so true uh, that the ANC of today is not the same as the ANC of the early 90s, mm. uh, the ANC of Madiba Lutuli. Uh, um, uh, and, and, and others. So uh, uh, it's very, very unfortunate that the, 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 the leaders of these glorious uh, organization, they failed to protect, promote, uh, or the protect and promote that legacy uh, of these great yeah. leaders. So now they are suffering because of what uh, the, these uh, current leaders uh, are Let doing. Uh, 
it's very, very unfortunate. Yeah, and, and people must understand this when it comes to leadership and organization. Let's not forget What though. you do will, will always affect uh, uh, the, the people or the predecessors. Yeah, that's, that's a fair point. Let's not forget, though, that um, Nelson Mandela, particularly in recent years, and particularly, I think, from the younger generation, has come in for a fair amount of criticism. There's even been suggestions he was a, a sellout and uh, compromised too much during the Cadessa negotiations, gave too much away, failed to, to make sure that transformation happened at, uh, on an economic level as well. You're a leadership pro. From your perspective, what, what did he do right as a leader? What were his strengths? Do you believe that criticism is fair or not? Well, people must understand that leadership is contextual and leadership evolves. You know, the, the, the decisions that were taken at Codessa uh, in the early 90s, uh, they, they, they were, I, I mean, they were made up because of a certain context during that time, you know. Um, I don't think if Madiba was alive now or if he would be leading right now, he would have led the way he led in 1994 because things have evolved now, things have changed. So it might happen that there were some decisions that were taken at that time uh, 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 nursing a certain situation which uh, uh, emanated during that time. So certain mm. decisions were made, but when to find that now uh, people, they, they, they've, they've recovered that uh, or discovered that maybe those decisions were not uh, 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 in the best interest of the country. I always say that the, the yesterday's decisions at times or most of the times are today's problems because you, you do something and you don't know what will happen in 10 years' time. That is why for now the leaders who are leading nowadays, now they must be saying, okay, in 1994 or early 90s, the context was at this level, or now uh, our leaders led us uh, because of that context. Now we are in a certain different context. We need to lead in a certain way. So unfortunately, uh, there might be un uh, very, very unfortunate really to, to, to criticize someone who took certain decisions uh, because of a certain context. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Context is key. And it was a very tricky and indeed a very a difficult time. Thank you so much for your thoughts this evening. Much appreciated leadership expert, Mazwe Majole there.